18 points for Holiday. Did a nice job hanging around the basket. Although Tatum didn't shoot well again, eight assists in the first half for Jason Tatum. TV. And for the Dallas Mavericks, 40 of the 54 points scored or assisted on by your two big stars. Remember, they're two of the best closers in the game. The later this marches and the closer it stays, Dallas obviously has excellent options. Tatum, three-pointer. That won't go. Rebound Gafford. And it just shows you how strong this Celtic team is that they don't need Jason Tatum to dominate to win a finals game. They showed that in game one. They won handily. He's two for ten, but he's also such a more complete player. Gafford, nice move. It looked like there was some contact there, but Gafford able to get it to go through. Well, can you exploit that matchup, right? Tatum's been guarding your five. They went to him early in game one. Gafford, another turnover by the Celtics. But will they post Gafford on Tatum again here? Dodgers with Derek White on him. Goes up top, P.J. Washington fakes, drives, fakes again, flips it up and in. Seven points for Washington, and Dallas regains the lead. And I like that from Washington. He has a real strong ability to attack closeouts and score it in the paint. Doncic, by the way, just one assist in game one. He's got five to go with the 23 points. Brown with six to shoot. Tatum spins, goes inside. Shot clock winding down. White has to hoist it up. Can't get it to full. Holiday right there, and Tatum banks it in on a foul. Another intangible play from Drew Holiday, and a chance for a three-point play for the Celtics. Well, Joe Mazzula gives his guards the freedom to crash from the corner. They're not getting back on defense. They're looking to create an extra possession, a heads-up play from Drew Holiday. And third foul on Kyrie Irving. So now seven points, eight assists. Tatum hits the free throw. Celtics remain perfect from the line. 14 for 14. Brown now takes his turn on Donches. Those are two strong dudes right there. Gafford goes at Tatum, layup, bangs it in using his size. Two post-up opportunities, two scores. Obviously, that is a six foot ten, very strong guy going against Tatum. And that's going to be a big time look here in the second half for this Dallas team. Al Horford again getting the start. Brown corner three. Misses Doncic the rebound. That's his fourth of those. As it poked away, stolen by Jalen Brown. Here's Horford. Inside, Holiday banks it in. Defense leading to offense for the Celtics. Brown had three steals and three blocks in game one. Kyrie Irving can't get the three. Rebound falls to the ground. Holiday down with 19 points. Paid him to White, fires away. Three pointers, Kurt. Five point lead for the Celtics. assists now for Jason Tatum not letting his poor shooting affect the other parts of his game deflects that out of bounds tend to shoot for Dallas watch this quick roll from Drew Holiday so he's gonna go into a dribble handoff get out of there that forces Kyrie Irving to make a decision do I give up the basket or I do I give up the three-point line and he's late to close out on that Derek White three Doncic falling away nails it <laughs> he's dead He's 10 for 14. He makes that shot look so easy, and it's anything but. Brown looking for that screen. Gets some room. Gafford blocks it. Doncic the rebound. You can tell Jalen Brown wanted the screen on the other side. Doncic takes it out in the corner to Washington. Derek Jones spins against Derek White. Back to Irvin, nearly knocked away. Irvin gets it back. Washington, corner three, in and out. And Derek White the rebound. Brown drives on Gafford. Pulls back, jump shot. 
Let's check in with Lisa Salters. Hey, Mike, remember Jason Kidd told us free game that if they can take away Boston's three, they'd be good. I asked him how they've been able to do that so far. He said our rotations have been much better. I think we just got our nerves out of the way in game one and are rotating better now. Luca, of course, doing his thing, but I asked Jason Kidd what he needed to see from everyone else. He said Kyrie's got to make some shots. We need someone off the bench to score as well. He said we need a third guy to come to the party for us to win this game. Mike? All right, Lisa, that turnover certainly didn't help. Transition take foul. Called on P.J. Washington, his second. So it's one free throw and possession. Again, it's Derek White with the deflection, Drew Holiday with the steal. Those two guys make so many plays on both sides of the floor. Not just the best defensive backcourt in today's NBA, one of the best defensive backcourts of all time. I will co-sign that. I will co-sign that. Derek White short, Doncic the rebound. Holiday trying to chase Luka Doncic. Horford helps. Lively gets inside and throws it down. Eric Lively with his first point. And a 20-year-old rookie from Duke makes it a two-point game. And a timeout call by Joe Mazzulla. So you talk about how infrequently Boston blitzes. Al Horford jumps out on this screen. Two to the ball. Drew a little bit late. Rotation late. And Lively getting lively.